Dear students, in this video, we will be explaining the procedure of RTA Smart Yard Test in order for you to succeed in it. The Smart Yard Test consists of five maneuvers, which are the Slope Test, Emergency Brake Test, Parallel Parking Test, Garage Parking Test, and Angle Parking Test. Each maneuver is properly explained for you to understand, but in case if you still have any question, kindly ask your instructor. There are three ways of failing this test based on the current RTA test score sheet, but keep yourself updated for any future changes in the test criteria. Disqualification Any of the following actions will get you disqualified for the whole maneuvers of Smart Yard Test. Number 1. If you do not shut the door properly or if you open the door during the examination. Number 2. If you do not fasten the seatbelt or if you release the seatbelt during the examination. Number 3. If you exceed the maximum speed limit of more than 35 km per hour. Number 4. If your vehicle is involved in a collision with any object. Number 5. In manual car, if the engine stalls three times during the examination due to improper use of clutch. Number 6. If you exceed the total exam time, which is 20 minutes. Immediate fails. Immediate fail will apply for a major fault and will result in failure of that particular maneuver where it occurred. Demerit points Two demerit points are recorded for a minor fault. Accumulation of four or more demerit points in the same maneuver will result in failure of that particular maneuver. Also, some important information you have to remember during the exam. Number 1. For safety reasons, it is advised you should avoid applying excessive force on the accelerator pedal as this will rev up the engine above 3,000 and will cause the engine to stall. Number 2. In case the vehicle does not read the sensor marker of a particular maneuver, you should not attempt that maneuver but rather continue to complete the other maneuvers and return back to complete the pending maneuver. Number 3. An automatic vehicle, if by any reason the engine stalls, you should shift the gear to P or neutral position and then restart the vehicle. Number 4. In this video, the reference points shown may vary depending on your height and seat adjustment. Your instructor will guide you further to understand the reference points. After entering into the vehicle, adjust your seat position and backrest so you can reach the foot and hand controls comfortably. Fasten the seat belt and do not unfasten it until you have finished the test. And adjust the mirrors to see the taillight at top inside corner. When you are ready, Show your thumb to the camera. The tab will announce. Examination started. Please drive to start point. Check your mirrors and surroundings before reversing to make sure there is no vehicle or person approaching from the rear to avoid any kind of collision. Once you approach the slope sensor marking, the tab will announce This is the slope test. The duration of slope test is 90 seconds. And the time starts when the front bumper crosses the white entry line. Keep moving forward until yellow line disappears from the front windscreen. 
stop your vehicle and apply handbrake. Your vehicle should stop between these two lines. To move off in manual vehicle, balance the accelerator and clutch paddles to the friction point and release the handbrake to proceed forward. An automatic vehicle accelerate to 1,500 RPM and then release the handbrake. The engine will stall if you rev up above 3,000 RPM and cause the vehicle to roll back freely while at the same time the brake pedal becomes hard to press which can result into collision with another vehicle. To prevent this situation, avoid excessive acceleration and in case the vehicle rolls back, apply the handbrake along with the foot brake. Demerit points. Two demerit points are recorded for the following each minor fault. Number one, if you do not apply the handbrake after stopping. Number two, if your vehicle rolls back by more than 15 centimeters, but less than 30 centimeters. Number three, if you move off the vehicle without releasing the handbrake completely, immediate fails. An immediate fail will apply for the following each major fault. Number one, if you stop the vehicle on the white line or yellow line. Number two, if your vehicle rolls back by 30 centimeters or more. Number three, in manual car, if the engine stalls twice due to improper use of clutch. Number four, if you exceed 90 seconds to complete the maneuver. As you approach the emergency brake sensor marking, the tab will announce. This is the emergency brake test. The test time begins as the vehicle reads the sensor marking, which is 90 second. In manual vehicle, your car should be in second gear. Accelerate to attain an ideal speed of 25 km per hour. While vehicle crosses the white entry line, you will hear the beep sound. Apply the brake immediately while both hands gripping the steering wheel firmly. After stopping for a few seconds, Check your surroundings and then exit from the emergency brake track. In case the beep sound does not come from the tab, you should stop before the yellow exit line to avoid collision with the fence barrier in front. Immediate fails. An immediate fail will apply for the following each major fault. Number one, if you touch the entry line at a speed less than 20 kilometers per hour. Number two, if you apply the brake before touching the entry line or before hearing the beeping sound. Number three, if you touch or cross the exit line without braking. Number four, in manual car, if you press the clutch before the brake or press both the pedals at the same time. Number five, if you are not able to stop the vehicle within the stipulated distance. Number six, if you are not holding the steering wheel with both hands. Number seven, in manual car, if the engine stalls twice due to improper use of clutch. Number eight, if you exceed 90 seconds to complete the maneuver. When you approach the parallel parking sensor marking, the tab will announce This is the parallel parking test. Position your vehicle slightly to the right of the lane as seen through the right side mirror. The duration of this test is 5 minutes and the time starts when you select the reverse gear. Apply right indicator. Perform the safety checks and then reverse slowly. The reference points are when the parking curve disappears from the right side mirror. Turn the steering wheel completely to the right and continue reversing slowly 
until the white parking line comes beneath the driver's door handle. Rotate the steering wheel completely to the left and keep reversing until the vehicle is positioned in the parking lot as seen in the both side mirrors. Stop the vehicle. Shift the gear to neutral for manual or P position for automatic and apply handbrake. Tab will announce. Exit from the parking bay. Now to exit, select forward gear, release the handbrake and apply left indicator. Perform the safety checks and move out slowly from the parking lot. As the vehicle's right side pillar align with the yellow parking line, turn the steering wheel to right to exit completely. Be aware when reversing for parallel parking most of the time. The focus is on the reference points and neglecting the center mirror completely. In this case, you may get involved in a crash with another vehicle approaching from behind. As you approach the garage parking sensor marking, the tab will announce. This is the garage parking test. You should position the vehicle close to the center line as much as possible. The duration of this test is 3 minutes, and the time starts when you select the reverse gear. Apply the right indicator. Perform the safety checks and then reverse slowly. The reference point is when the second parking corner becomes aligned with the right back door window text. Turn the steering wheel completely to the right and continue reversing slowly by checking the both side mirrors until the vehicle enters the parking lot. When both side gaps are almost equally visible in the side mirrors, rotate the steering wheel back to straight position. Continue reversing slowly until the rear parking line comes beneath the driver's door handle as seen in the left side mirror, and then stop the vehicle. Shift gear to neutral for manual or P position for automatic and apply the handbrake. The tab will announce. Exit from the parking bay. Select forward gear. Release the handbrake. Indicate to the right and perform the safety checks. Move out straight slowly until the left side parking line aligns with your left shoulder. Turn the steering wheel completely to the right to exit from the parking lot. While reversing, be careful about the vehicles that may approach from behind or in the next lane and can cause collision. While exiting the parking lot, avoid taking a wide turn which may result into your vehicle's collision with the wall of hill. As you approach the angle parking sensor marking, the tab will announce. This is the angle parking test. You should position the vehicle close to the center line as much as possible. The duration of this test is two minutes and the time starts when the right indicator is activated. Perform the safety checks. The first reference point is when the first parking line is seen beneath the right side mirror frame. Turn the steering wheel completely to the right and continue moving in slow motion. The second reference point is when the left inside corner becomes aligned with the top part of steering wheel or the left side mirror frame aligns with the left yellow parking line. Rotate the steering wheel back to straight position and continue moving forward. The third reference point is when the white parking line comes beneath the driver's door handle as seen in the left side mirror and stop the vehicle. Shift gear to neutral for manual or P position for automatic and then apply the handbrake. The tab will announce Exit from the parking bay. To exit, select the reverse gear, release the handbrake 
indicate to the right, perform the safety checks. And move out slowly until the left side mirror frame is aligned with the left yellow sideline. Turn the steering wheel completely to the right to exit from the parking lot. When exiting the parking lot, your focus is usually continuous checking of the exit reference point on the left. Neglecting the vehicle, approaching from right can result into crash. Two demerits are recorded for the following each minor fault. Number one, if you do not put on the indicator when entering or exiting the parking bay. Number two, if you do not confirm the safety checks when entering or exiting the parking bay. Number three, if you perform dry steering. Number four, if you take an additional move in parallel and garage parking. Number five, if you do not put the gear in neutral for manual or P position for automatic after parking inside the bay. Number six, if you move off the vehicle without releasing the handbrake completely. Immediate fails. An immediate fail will apply for the following each major fault. Number one, if you touch the parking lines by any part of the vehicle. Number two, if your vehicle is positioned outside the parking bay. Number three, if you do not apply handbrake after parking inside the bay. Number four, in manual car, if the engine stalls twice due to improper use of clutch. Number five, if you exceed the allotted time to complete the maneuver. Number six, if you make a front entry into the parking bay for parallel and garage parkings and a back entry for angle parking. After completing all the maneuvers, Return the vehicle back to the finish point. The tab will announce. The test has finished. At the finish point, to avoid failing the last maneuver, you must apply the handbrake. Shift gear to neutral for manual or P position for automatic. And do not switch off the engine. Finally, release the seatbelt open the door and exit from the vehicle. Please collect test results from the waiting room. Goodbye. We hope this video tutorial was beneficial and will help you to pass your smart yard test.